It's a virtual town hall meeting with Congressman Adriano Espaillat, who represents the 13th Congressional District, a few days after seeing the passage of the HEROES Act, a federal relief bill aimed at protecting the jobs of essential workers and more. $200 billion for hazard pay is critical, that $100 billion for uh, the uh, rental assistance is critical, that $3.8 billion that I help also get for the MTA is critical. So how are we going to open up if we don't have a functional and reliable subway and, and bus system? Also there, president of 32BJ, Kyle Bragg, whose union represents 85,000 workers, including 12,000 airport workers who were recently laid off due to the pandemic with no severance package. In addition to this, the union that represents doormen, security officers, food service workers and more lost 110 members to COVID-19. Thank you for everything and my condolences. I know that you guys have been hit really hard. Um, but your work, your hard work has not gone unnoticed. And, um, you know, we're, we're obviously, we're here at the council, very supportive of 32 BJ. There's a lot of bills that will be coming out of the council that are COVID related, uh, dealing with worker protection, you know, both commercial uh, and just dealing with a lot of other uh, folks that have been really hit very hard. So we just want to make sure we're on the same page. And you know, you have a partner in all of us, Idani, Smart, Diana, myself, and all of your friends in the council, we're always here to support you. So please let us know what we can do uh, and how we can help you and your members. We want to make sure that all essential workers have PPE. We want to make sure workers have uh, layoff protection. We want to make sure uh, essential workers get uh, essential pay, has to pay. Along with providing worker protection, the meeting also was about providing information on food drives and pantries, as well as testing sites. My office is putting together today a list of all the testing sites and all the uh, food distribution sites in the district so that you have that available. Along with this was talk on improving the city's food delivery service. 100 people did not get their meals today in Esplanade because someone saw fit to throw the garbage, throw the food out as garbage. They left it in, in packs. Three meals. This was their weekend meals. Let me know so that I could be there with you at Esplanade where they bring the next meal. And okay, I'll try to find we'll, out. I, I, I will bring some masks with us too to give them to the families there. The agency overseeing the program is the Department of Sanitation. As we invite union leaders, Next week, why not invite Kathy Garcia or someone from the mayor's office to join us so that we can iron out these issues simply because this process is going to continue over the summertime as right. we reopen. Senior centers may not be back to normalcy, so seniors mm -hmm. are still going to need food delivered. And I would love to make sure that we iron out all these issues and make sure that food is delivered properly and it's not left on the floor. Like, that's not acceptable. Congressman Espayad holds these town hall meetings every Friday. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.